हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर राजाराम ढोक फ्रॉम सावित्रीबाई फुले पुणे यूनिवर्सिटी एफिलेटेड एग्रीकल्चरल डेवलपमेंट ट्रस्ट शारदाबाई पवार महिला कॉलेज शारदा नगर बारामती लेट्स स्टार्ट केमिस्ट्री ऑफ ए ब्लॉक एलिमेंट्स लेक्चर टू Separation of the lanthanide elements. So we have seen the different lanthanide elements, their electronic configuration. So we see here occurrence of these lanthanides in the earth crust. So these lanthanide elements were originally called rare earths. Rare earth means these are the rare they are found in the very small quantity in the earth crust that is called as rare earth so originally these elements were called as rare earths these elements are extracted from the oxides they were extracted from the oxides and this word earth denotes thermally stable oxides thermally stable oxides and from that thermally stable oxides these elements were extracted originally these elements were believed to occur comparatively in very small quantity minute quantities in the form of their oxides because at that time the technology is not so so much developed and depending upon how many technology present in that period they are separated and at that time they found that these are present in very less quantity but nowadays there is various technologies are developed and with the help of technology with the help of the different principles we can separate that and now we found that these elements lanthanide elements are present in large quantity and so this name rare earth has now become a misnomer or it is wrong because these elements are present in the earth crust on the large quantity in the abundant quantity and if we see some metals like lead mercury gold then these metals are in small quantity and this lanthanide elements are present in large quantity than this gold mercury also and so this rare earth name is now now not used because they are present on the large scale so instead of that rare earths we use the name more appropriately that is the lanthanides and this name is given from the first member of this lanthanide series that is lanthanum so from lanthanum this series is started so all the elements have given the name lanthanides so these large quantities of elements are found in india also in the other countries soviet union united states and also some other countries <coughs> contains this lanthanide elements so usually these elements occur in nature in complex form not in the free form because we know that only the novel metals like gold they are in the free form and other metals are in the combined form so these lanthanide elements are in the complex form and generally in the silicates and phosphate form they are present so one of the most important mineral of lanthanide that is monazite sand so you remember this word monazite sand and this monazite sand contains the different lanthanide elements in the orthophosphate form it also contains large amount of thorium so that monazite sand contains near about 30% of thorium and from that monazite sand we can separate the thorium and that thorium is member of actinide series so in the next series we see the about the thorium and that thorium can be converted into 
suitable radioactive element and this element is used for the different nuclear reactions or in the different mechanisms of that radioactive elements. So this lanthanum, cerium, praseodymium, neodymium, these elements are also present in large quantity in that monazite sand and in the thorium. And from that we can extract, we can separate. So this is the occurrence of lanthanide elements. So in short, we have seen this occurrence of lanthanides. Now we see the separation of lanthanide elements. So these lanthanide elements are present in the different ores and that is in the complex form. So generally these lanthanide elements are in their trivalent state. So just we have seen lanthanides have plus 3 oxidation state stable. Means that is in the trivalent state and they are similar to each other in the chemical properties. And because of that, separation of that elements by chemical methods is very difficult. Because all the 14 elements shows nearly same chemical properties. And when chemical properties are same, then separation is difficult. So you know that we can separate the different elements or identify different elements with the help of chemical analysis that is in inorganic qualitative analysis. In inorganic qualitative analysis, we have given the different cations, different anions and we can identify, we can separate that ions by particular method and for that purpose, we can use the systematically different test or chemical methods that is we say the qualitative analysis. In that qualitative analysis, we can divide it that cations into different groups, six group, anions into the different tests and by taking different test, we can identify that, we can separate that. So in case of the lanthanide, it is very difficult because properties of all the elements are nearly same. So in that case, it is very difficult. So these lanthanides are separated from each other on the basis of slight difference in their physical properties, such as solubility, hydration, stability, complex formation, adsorption, so physical properties are slight difference and with the help of that we can separate that. So these physical methods can be broadly classified into different types. So you see there are given different types on the basis of physical methods. So one of the method is fractional precipitation of hydroxides. So when we take that all the compounds hydroxides then it's fractional precipitation is slight difference and on that basis we can separate that. So you know the precipitation or fractional precipitation means every element have slight difference in the precipitation property of their hydroxides. Then fractional crystallization of double sulfates. Then third method fractional thermal decomposition of nitrates. Then fourth method is complex formation with EDT. So, you know that EDTA is one of the ligand and that EDTA when compound uh, mix with different metals then it forms complexes that is the coordinate complexes. So metal and EDTA forms coordinate complexes mainly metals from D block element or transition series element. So that forms the complexes and so its complex formation ability is slight difference and so from that we can separate that. Then valency change. Valency of that element have slight difference. Then sixth method is solvent extraction. Seventh method is ion exchange. So these are the different methods. Now, if we see that every method, then in every method there is change in the principle. So if we see that seven methods, then out of that first five methods, they have now outdated method because it requires or it has not so much accuracy. But sixth and seventh method is now we use mainly for the isolation because with the help of this we can separate that in the maximum pure percentage or we say the 100% pure percentage because nowadays there is 
advanced technology and with the help of that advanced technology by using the solvent extraction and ion exchange method we can separate that elements in 100 percent pure form or we say the maximum pure form so that two methods are nowadays mainly used so we see what is the principle in that two methods so firstly we see the principle in solvent extraction so only we see here principles and not very detailed methods because when we studied the methods in detail then it requires so much time but only we see the principle and not actually the detailed extraction method so solvent extraction what is in by solvent extraction so the solvent extraction method is used to separate and identify the lanthanides produced by fusion of uranium in the early days of atomic energy when in the early days of atomic energy or in the separation of the uranium or different other elements this method was used but nowadays this method is used in the lanthanide separation also so this method based on the difference in the distribution coefficient in the distribution coefficient of the salts of lanthanides between water and immixable organic solvent so this distribution coefficient it also depends upon the partition coefficient or that is nernst equation it contains the principal nernst equation so in the sy bsc syllabus there is also one experiment with partition coefficient so such type of one practical experiment is present and in that the same principle is used so in this mainly we use the method that is based on the differences in the distribution coefficient so we use this method and in that we use the organic solvent and that organic solvent that is called as extracting solvent or that is also called as extractant so if we take the different solutes then they are soluble in organic solvent or in inorganic solvent or water solvent and because of that there is separation of that two so this solvent extraction method we use largely in the extraction of oil in the extraction of oil so edible oil mainly edible oil so such type of techniques of solvent extraction that consists of mixing of aqueous solution of lanthanide salts mixing of aqueous solution of lanthanide salts with the organic solvent in the craig apparatus that that craig apparatus means that is the counter current process so this in this process this organic solvent extract the lanthanide salts from water means when that organic solvent water in that lanthanide elements they are mixed and they are processed in the craig apparatus or counter current process then in that organic solvent separates the lanthanide salts from water so different lanthanides are extracted in the organic phase to different extent so the most common or most commonly used extracting organic solvent is tributyl phosphate or simply it is called as tbp tributyl phosphate and this tributyl phosphate dissolves in kerosene or other inert solvents the heavier ln plus 3 ions are more soluble in this tbp than the other ions or lighter ions in ln plus 3 ions means you see that there are difference slight difference in the size of that different lanthanide elements so heavier elements they are more soluble in the tbp than other ions which is lighter and so more heavier elements are converted into soluble form and lighter elements remains in the aqueous form so in this way that aqueous form and organic form that two layers are separated by counter current process so for that purpose i give you one example when there is mixing of 
edible oil and water then what happen when we stir that then also that edible oil and water is not mixed after certain time they are separated and water settles at the bottom organic solvent come at the upper size because they are lighter so here same method is used we can mix that organic solvent water and such type of mixture of that lanthanide elements we mix that we stir that and after stirring when they are separated then heavier elements come in the organic state and other remains in the aqueous state now that both are separated again we add the other solvent again that same process is carried out so by taking the systematic method scientific method we can separate that and nowadays by the counter current apparatus or when we use long separating funnel uh, separating here column then with the help of that we can separate that so this tbp forms complexes with ln3 plus ions in presence of nitrate ion many extractions can be carried out in the craig apparatus and by this process or with the help of such type of process 95% pure gadolinium can be extracted and other elements also extracted in the maximum pure form so nowadays this is the very easy process and such type of solvent extraction we use in other places also and that can be used in the lanthanide extraction also now second method is ion exchange method so ion exchange method this is also very simple method now this we can use this ion exchange method in the purification of water so nowadays in every home there is water purifier in the water purifier there are resins and that resins contains cation exchanger anion exchanger and when we pass that water through that resins then that excess of cation or all the cations are separated from that and we can purify the water so if in the water there is large quantity of cations large quantity of anions and it is not suitable for drinking purpose then we can pass through the that water purifier means from that cation exchanger and anion exchanger and we can separate that so in that cation exchanger and anion exchanger there is positively charged ions in the cation exchanger negatively charged ions in the anion exchanger and that replaces that cation and anion so this method is more effective and general method for the separation and purification of lanthanides so it is the most important and rapid method among all the methods of separation of lanthanides so we have seen there are seven methods so out of that seven method this ion exchange method is very effective and very fast method very rapid method we can separate that so generally in this ion exchange method this depends upon the column chromatography principle so this is a type of column chromatography principle so column chromatography principle also we have not studied but in our practical there is column chromatography experiment but we have not completed that experiments but if there is chance then we can study that experiment and you get knowledge about that so this column is packed with cation exchangers so this cation exchanger is high molecular weight cross linked polymers and that polymers have acid functional groups like sulfonic ion so so2h ions or carboxylic oh ions they are present in that and because of that the step of ions replaces that so the h plus ions on the cation exchanger are exchanged by ln3 plus ions present in the aqueous solution of that lanthanide elements and that passes through the cation exchange when they are passes through the cation exchanger then the ion exchange these particular cations at the resins at the resins so for that purpose such type of column is filled 
with the help of cation exchanger and generally there are so many types of cation exchanger in market is available but dovex 50 is one of the regimes which is suitable for the separation of lanthanides so the aqueous solution containing the mixture of lanthanide chlorides that is placed at the top of that column and when that solution is passed through that column towards the lower side then ln plus 3 ions replace the h plus ions of that functional group and takes their place in the region so all the ln plus 3 ions bound to the regions throughout the column and it forms a band so actual how that practical or mechanical process is carried out so we see the diagram from that you get idea about this so see here there is a column so this column is like our burette so in that column so this column have different length in our lab there is burette that burette is also one of the column we use that burette for titration and we can measure the actual quantity because there is given scale but on this column there may be scale or may not be scale so it may be with scale or without scale but generally this column is large size made from the glass or made from the different metals and in that column we pass the resin just we have seen the resin that is dovex 50 so its solution is prepared and that solution is filled or that solution we generally say the slurry that slurry is filled here to avoid the passing of slurry from that column below side here one porous plate is added so through this porous plate only the solvent is passed but particles are not passed and so this is like filter paper mechanism so here this work like filter paper so only solvent is passed and other solid particles solid crystals are not passed or that regions are not passed at the lower side so such type of porous plates are placed now when this column is filled then a solutions of lanthanide chloride is prepared so we have seen that ln cl3 solution is prepared so its corresponding chloride solutions are prepared and for that purpose that metal can be dissolved in the acid like hcl it forms corresponding chlorides and that chloride solutions are filled here so we can fill here solutions so we can fill here solutions of this lncl lncl3 so we fill the solution of lncl3 so when solutions of LnCl3 are filled, then there is separation of these ions. So how that ions are separated? So in that separation, it depends upon the certain principle. So here La plus 3 ion is at the top. Of. So at the top side, La is separated. And Lu ions are at the bottom of the column. And this depends upon hydrated radius of LA plus 3 ion. It depends upon the hydrated radius of LN plus 3 ion. So when we see the principles in that, then we say that smaller the ion, larger the hydrated radius. Smaller the ion, larger the hydrated radius. And less strongly it is bound to the regions means if we see LU so when we see the radius from LU to LA to LU means lanthanum lutetium or lanthanum cerium procedinium up to the lutetium then in that case lanthanum is larger size and lutetium is smaller size so simply we see that in the periodic table from lanthanum to lutetium atomic size decreases atomic size ionic size decreases mean simply we say that lanthanum is larger size and this size decreases toward lutetium so lutetium is smaller size 
and when that is the smaller size then smaller size ion are larger hydrated radius and when they are larger hydrated radius then that is less strongly bound in this column means simply you say that smaller size ions are less bound with column and larger size ions are strongly bound with the region and so firstly lanthanum ions are bound after that which is smaller size then they are bound after that the other ion which is small smaller size they are bound so in this way there is formation of bands and we get in this way 15 band lanthanum then cerium praseodymium neodymium promethium samarium yttrium and lu plus 3 so in this way different bands are formed and when that bands are formed then that bands can be formed depending upon the hydrated radius so hydrated radius increases from La plus 3 to Lu plus 3 and since the ionic radius decreases from lanthanum to lutetium and in that lanthanum is firstly bound and lutetium is lastly or at the bottom there in this way their cation exchange region column can separate that different bands now that bands we separate or remove from that how they are removed so we can exchange that we can remove that and so here we see the exchange equilibrium reaction so exchange equilibrium reaction we write in this way here ln plus 3 when they are added in the region so here h plus r minus is the region so here h is the positively charged ion and r minus is the here other part of that region so in that region positively charged h plus they are the active part and other r minus is the neutral part and so when in that we add the ln or lanthanide solution then h is replaced with ln so when h is replaced with ln then ln bind with region so here reaction ln 3 plus 3 r means actually ln r is formed plus H plus so H plus ions are separated now this H plus ions produce they are washed to the column by water then ln plus 3 ions are displaced from the region by complex formation with citric acid now this ln is forms with region in different bands so we have to separate that so how they are separated for that purpose we can mix these bands which contains that lanthanide different elements they are separated they are displaced by reacting with citric acid so this column is washed with the buffer solution of ammonium citrate citric acid they are washed with ammonium citrate and citric acid mixture and they have generally ph 4 to 7 so this can be carried out at that particular pH. So, when carried out at the particular pH, then one cation can be separated in the presence of other. And so here pH maintenance is important. So, by adding with that citric acid or ammonium citrate, citric acid, here we separate that. So, in the elution, so such type of process that is called as elution, E L U T I O N, elution. So, you know the solute solvent and solution like that here we carried out the process of elution so the elements or metals which have to be extracted which have to be washed out that is called as ulliate and the solution which is used for ulliation that is called as ulliant and process is called as ulliation so you remember this word like solute solvent and solution now here that ulliate use is the ammonium citrate citric acid so which contains NH4 plus ions so we write reaction here this ln r they combines with NH4 plus it gives separately ln plus and there is formation of NH4 r 
means NH4 is binded with R and they are separated from this LN. Now these LN ions react with citrate ion and forms LN citrate complex. So you see the reaction LN3 plus plus citrate ion is used LN citrate complex. So such type of different lanthanide elements are converted into LN citrate complex. And from that LN citrate complex, by again by using the suitable methods, that metals are separated. So in this way, here ion exchange method is used for the separation of different lanthanides. So separation of lanthanides by other method is difficult, but by this ion exchange method nowadays it becomes easy. 